we are going to make some snowflakes on here. We're gonna make some kind of easy snowflakes. So I'm gonna take my white crayon. Oh, also guys, always first thing, we're gonna write our name. So I'm gonna take my white crayon and make a line going down. And then I'm gonna go across. And then I'm gonna go diagonal that way, diagonal this way. It kind of looks like a star, doesn't it? Um, to start making it look like a snowflake, you can add some little lines to it. See how I add those little lines across? You can add maybe like a letter V to it. To make that, you can turn your paper if that's helpful and make a regular V. Or you could try doing a U. That could be cute. I'll do a U shape on all of these ones. And then you can make just some little more lines. And if you wanted to go out from any of those with any other shapes, you can. But I'm going to to make my snowflake using three shapes. I'll show you quick. So I'm going to use my make my snowflake using a little line like an I, a U is a curved line and a V. That's all we need. And we're just going to make them different sizes. Okay. So this, this little drawing that we're doing is going to get covered up because it's going to be the background to our mittens. We want a bunch of snowflakes, but just know that some of them are going to get covered up. So if you make a mistake, well, you can just put a mitten over it. That's fine. Um, but if you really like one, you might not want to put the mitten on that one. Oh, I forgot my diagonal lines. And you can do all of them different. You could try, let's see, I'll try one where I do, so I'm doing straight up and down, side to side, diagonal, diagonal. I've always been doing the little lines on the inside, so I could try doing some Vs. Ooh, la la, on the inside. And maybe some Us. Ooh, that's pretty cool. Oh, you know what? And even maybe adding some O's would be fun. And then what else? So we have, oh, and the little dashes. This one doesn't have any, so I can add some little dashes. And it's pretty fun to do a little snowflake like that. So we're just gonna fill this up straight across side to side, do um, do some U's, ooh, and bigger to smaller, that's kind of fun. And you guys can experiment. These are Every snowflake is different, so all of yours can be different, and there's really no mistakes. You know, sometimes snowflakes get broken <laughs> um, if they get touched, so maybe if you have one that doesn't look quite right, maybe it just got a little bit broken. So one last thing I want to say is that making the snowflakes big is where what you want to do. If you make your snowflakes too small, it's really hard with the crayon to add the little lines. So I wouldn't make a tiny, tiny one. I would make it pretty big. There are my snowflake. Now I'm ready for the next step. You're going to take your paper. Instead of standing tall, you're going to lay them down side to side. Okay. This way you have more room for both your hands. Take your Sharpie and holding it away, a little bit away from your hand, you're going to make a loop around your fingers and then a loop around your thumb. And you're going to go down and connect that for your mitten. And then go ahead and make, um, make it look like your arm is coming out of there. Trickier to trace the other side that you don't normally write with. Mine's going to be a little wobbly. I'm going to go in and around. 
and then you're going to connect and draw your hand command. Okay, so at this point you can make a pattern on your mittens and you could draw a picture but we're going to make a pattern and then we're going to color them in with our oil pastels. Oil pastels are very creamy and they color in really bright. If you have one that has something on it you don't want to use, you can wipe it off on this, on the extra part of paper because we're going to be cutting this out. Okay, so at this point, if you're done coloring, you need to put your oil pastels away. You're gonna take your scissors and you're gonna cut super slow like a sloth. Guys, make sure you're watching where you're going, especially if you're like me and you're trying to cut off a mistake. You wanna make sure that you're paying attention to what you're cutting off. Say you accidentally cut the thumb off or something like that, it's okay because we're gonna collage this and that means to glue it down to another paper so we're going to collage this onto another paper so you if you if i did cut the thumb off on accident i could just cut it out anyways and then glue them on close together and it will be fine let's talk about a strategy for cutting inside this little spot so one thing you can do is cut off extra bits the other thing you can do instead of going in here and feeling like you need to turn your paper is that you can go in there to the crease to that little small V and then you can go out here and go into the little small V and if it doesn't fall out just keep going from side to side and snipping a little bit more until it does fall out and there you go alright guys once you have both your mittens cut out you are gonna take your mittens and you're gonna take your snow flakes and you're gonna glue your little snowflake, your mittens onto your snowflakes. We should have done maybe arms. That would be cute. I like, really like the snowflake, so I'm gonna just put this first mitten here so at least some of that snowflake shows. And what you can do is turn it upside down and rub it. Guys, I hope you have an awesome time making this and I can't wait to see the creativity in your snowflakes and your mittens.